Oh my gosh, my camera battery is like aggressively flashing at me. Ooh. Hey y'all, my name is Ashley and today I am doing another first impressions and I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the Ofra X Ally Dawson collaboration. So it's the Falling in Love eyeshadow palette along with the two lip products that came in the collection. So if you're interested on how I got this look and what I think about the palette, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so I filmed all of this and I forgot to tell you like the prices. So you can buy this all in a bundle. And I'm because I've already done my makeup, my bundles and pieces on my desk. So in the bundle, you get three products for $49, which include the five pan eyeshadow palette a matte liquid lipstick, and a lip gloss. I used a code and I got 20% off. I used Allie's code, which with the code made it $39.20. But of course you can actually go and buy each piece individually if you wanted to. So the eyeshadow palette all on its own does retail for $32. The long lasting liquid lipstick is 20, and then the lip gloss is 15. So, now that I've added this in, we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into how I got this eye look. Just like last week, and I'm sure the week before that, I'm, I went ahead and primed my eyes with the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base. And I did use the shade Fair today, just because inside of this palette, the tones don't seem to need a white base, so I don't think I need a white base. Now, when this palette came out, I was so excited. I've actually never tried an eyeshadow palette from Ofra Cosmetics before. I use their highlighters, I use their spark light toppers, but I've never used an eyeshadow palette. And yes, I already own one. I got it in a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy a little while back. I never used it. So it's actually just sitting in my collection unused, which is probably a waste in some people's eyes, but I've never tried it before. And when this collection launched, I was so excited because I watch Allie Dawson, so I was really excited to support her in a collaboration because she's never really done a collaboration like this before. I believe she collaborated with Ofra in where she got to pick her favorite products, but never where she got to curate a collection with the shades and the lippies and everything. So I was excited to support her on that, and I love fall just as much as she does if not just a little bit less than she does, you know? I don't think anyone can love fall more than Allie Dawson, but this palette does scream fall and I'm really excited to play with it. So, I rambled enough, let's get started. I think lately I've been feeling like the reds for fall, like the, the berry reds. I even got my nails done this week and it has like the red shades in there. So I think that's what I'm gonna play with and maybe, add in that yellow and orange. I think the only shade I might not get to is the green. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the shade Sweater Weather. So that is that red. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that actually in my inner corner and my outer corner. So I'm gonna go for a halo style look today. I'm trying to do something opposite than what I posted on Tuesday. And I'm gonna take that on a pretty fluffy brush and just kind of pat in my inner corner. I feel like lately a lot of my first impressions have been like, not only first time using like the palette, but first time trying from the brand. At least that's what happened last Friday. Like I mentioned before, I've used Ofra products. I like my highlighters. Like my favorite highlighter from Ofra is a tie between sugar cookie and peppermint because when the winter comes, I know we just got into fall. Like I'm not trying to sit here and just like be excited for winter. I'm not, I'm enjoying my fullness. But the shade peppermint, is a beautiful highlighter for the winter when you're trying to do that cold girl look. Oh, I love it. So if, you, if you're if you looking for a pink toned highlighter, Ofra's got some pretty ones. Okay, so far I really like how easily that applied. I just kind of like patted it there and it already kind of looks blended out in the center. Like, it's nice. So I'm going to put that in the outer corner as well, blending it towards the inner. I'm not blending it towards the inner corner, I lied. I'm just putting on the outside. I do not want to connect them. So I think I also might have some face palettes from Ofra from being subscribed to BoxyCharm for years, but honestly, 
a lot of that makeup that I did get in BoxyCharm or Ipsy, I never ended up using or loving too much. So it was like a few products here and there that I was excited to own, but eventually I decluttered it all or I gave it away. Like I feel like I wasted so much money over the years of having a BoxyCharm subscription. I am really enjoying that color. So now I'm gonna take this yellow. So by the way, the four of these shades are matte. So you got the two mattes on this side, two mattes on this side, and down the center is a shimmer shade, but it also works as a topper, which I cannot wait to play with that. I love the Spark Lights toppers, so I'm sure I'm gonna love this center shade right here. But anyway, so I'm gonna get into the matte yellow. This is the shade Hayride. And I'm gonna go ahead and press that down the middle. I'm not gonna be connecting the two red shades because I'm gonna use the orange after to blend that all together. But that way each of these colors gets their own moment. I want to go ahead and lay down that center shade. And that is the perfect yellow for fall. That's it, that easy. I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna dip into the shade Bonfire. So that is the orange. And I'm going to blend the yellow into that deep red, that sweater weather shade, and kind of blend everything together that way. I'm gonna use that orange as that shade that kind of ties everything together and make everything kind of cohesive and kind of perfect. So just like that. Oh my goodness, I am so happy with this. I am now disappointed that I have not tried Ofra Cosmetics eyeshadows before. I'm definitely gonna be pulling out the one that's hiding in my collection. I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade White Pumpkin. So that's gonna be that shimmery topper shade. It's almost like a very, very pastel champagne gold shade. And take it on my finger and I'm gonna press it on top of that yellow. All right, this feels very similar to those spark lights because it does have that translucent base where the it's the glitter that has the pigment. So it's the glitter that's that champagne, very, very white leaning champagne gold, but the base is completely translucent. So you can see that yellow. Now to make sure everything melts nicely together, I'm gonna take my other hand that doesn't have any pigment on it and I'm gonna pat the outside of the shimmer I just laid down to kind of melt it into the other shades. Man, I am so happy with the way that looks. Okay, it's time to kind of buff out those edges. Now, if you watched my tutorial Tuesday I posted, which is like my take on a latte look, which is kind of similar to how everyone else does a latte look, I did share a few tips and tricks in there, and one of them was where I take the brightening pink powder I'm using currently, another Gerard Cosmetics product, and this is the Slay the Bake Blurring Powder. I fucking love this. I'm gonna take a little bit of that on a very fluffy brush and I'm going to use it to blend out my inner corner and bring it up. And I love using this powder or any brightening pink powder to blend out my eyeshadow. It just really, it's an extra step to your routine, but it really is worth the time. But it just makes your makeup look a little bit more professional, a little bit more perfect, a little bit more flawless. And this blurs, so it's perfect for under the brow bone, which is what I'm gonna do with it. So now I will be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this look onto my other eye, add some mascara, some foundation, so you no longer have to stare at my massive pimples. And then I will, then we'll get into the lippies. I went ahead and added a little blush, but I kind of want to add a second blush, okay? And since this is a first impressions with an Ofra palette, I figured I would pull out an Ofra blush palette. So this is a blush palette from Ofra Cosmetics that I got in a boxy charm that I've never used. You know what? And I think today's the day. I should I should totally use it. So I use like a deeper wine colored blush on my face. And I think I'm gonna use like a mauve tone to kind of buff it out because I love dimension in my blush. So I always like to put like a darker or a bolder blush here and then use a lighter, more muted blush to kind of buff it out. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And does this have shade names? Oh yes, lovely, okay. I think I'm gonna use the shade Pink Satin, which is gonna be this shade, and maybe mix a little bit of this Candy Apple shade right here. 
So I'm just gonna go boop, boop, and kind of use that to blend it out, like so. Man, I try in every video to change up my earrings because I, I'm a hoarder of like these fashion earrings. Like I absolutely love it. And I like the statement pieces, like not even pieces, but, but what's the best way to explain it? I like seasonal earrings that are kind of like big up in your face and a little bit gaudy. Like I, I love it. So I try to switch it up every video, but this look is like, when I see the palette, I think of like, when I see the colors of the palette, I immediately think of leaves and leaves changing to those beautiful colors. Something that I don't get to experience here in Houston, Texas, but that is what I think of. And so that's why I put these earrings on again because the leaves, I just love it. It's one of my favorite parts about fall is like decorating things with fake foliage. I love it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the under eye. Now, I realized after I did this look that this is a little bit softer and lately my makeup has been softer. Um, I don't know why, because I, I do love a good bold look, but I'm really enjoying like this softer edges, softer as in like not going as high up as I used to, or I, not that I used to, because I still will go that high up, but lately on camera, I've only been doing softer looks. So I promise sometime soon, I will do something much bolder and in your face. Oh, and if I'm starting to sound stuffy, it's because it's towards the end of the day and my allergies are kicking my ass. That's why I'm kind of nasally, or at least I feel like I'm nasally. So for the underneath, I think I'm gonna start off with this shade Sweater Weather, which is that beautiful red brown shade. And I'm gonna use that in the inner corner and I don't think I'm actually gonna take it to the outer corner, so I'm just gonna do the inner corner to start with. Kinda see how that looks. I'm gonna try to use the green. I know last week I did two different looks. I wanted to do two different looks with this palette, but I don't know what happened to the week. It is gone. And I wanna do at least one more first impressions in the month of September, so unfortunately I don't have time to do two looks for this video, but I think I might go ahead and start working on my short form content. And I have a feeling a few of my shorts for fall looks is going to be using this palette. Because I am loving it. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the orange shade. So that orange shade is the shade Bonfire. And uh, actually, no, I lied. We're not gonna do the orange shade. I'm gonna do the yellow because the yellow is going to look really nice going into that green. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Hayride. And that's going to be in the center, kind of the same way it's placed on the top of the lid. And then finally, this beautiful muted green shade. It kind of reminds me of like the colors of BDUs, but um, the shade Evergreen. So I'm gonna use that in the outer corner. I don't know if it's because I have green eyes, but that green looks really good on my eyes. I actually really, really like it and I'm starting to regret not doing a green look because that green is beautiful. Okay, I think I need a little bit more on my eyes. I'm gonna use that really beautiful shimmer topper. Um, I keep forgetting <laughs> the shade names. My short-term memory is a fucking joke. There's five shades in this palette and I can't seem to like memorize any of them at all. I have to keep referring to the back. <sighs> okay, so White Pumpkin, that really pretty topper shade. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it in the inner corner. I know I just like spit up my finger. That was a bad idea because I'm gonna need a detailing brush. Oh, that's actually a good idea. I forgot about this. So I have this like Huda Beauty, um, what is this called? <sighs> Why is everything gonna be clear acrylic? It's the Fender Blender brush. I forgot what palette this was released with, but there's like a foamy applicator tip and then there's a silicone tip. This might be perfect for me to get that inner corner with with a shade that does work better with the finger. So I'm going to use that. That did pick up really nicely. And I'm going to go ahead and pop it in my inner corner. Just kind of like how I magically popped on some lashes, because I did. Um, the lashes I did pop on though are Ardell 421s, the naked ones. This look needed just a little bit of 
it needed lashes, but it needed simple lashes. I haven't been feeling large lashes. I've been like, I have steady been using the Ardell 421s constantly for like since May. They complement almost every single style of eye makeup. So it has been my go-to and it will probably stay my go-to for a little while. All right, so I did pop that white pumpkin shade in the inner corner, which I really like because it kind of just added to that pop of brightness it really needed. And now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the lips. So there was two different lip products in this collection. And the first one is the Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade, are these not labeled? Oh, there they are, Kaya. So I believe both of these products are named after Allie's dogs, which her dogs are so cute. It reminded me of my dog. I don't know if Allie has German Shepherds or uh, Belgian Malinois or like the, the Shepinois. I have a Shepinois, so she's a German Shepherd and a Belgian Malinois. But her, her dogs remind me so much of my Brandy Bear. Like the breed are beyond lovable. After I ranted about dogs for no apparent reason, I'm going to see, I wanna see how dark this lippy is. So I kind of know what type of lip liner I wanna get. I think I'm gonna go for the darker lip liner look and then the lighter lip color look. I'm really enjoying that 90s, <laughs> that 90s vibe for my lips. The lip liner I went ahead and used is from Jaclyn Cosmetics. It is the shade Toasty. This is the darkest brown lip liner I have, and I'm really enjoying like the dark brown lippy. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put on this liquid lipstick. I really like that combination. I feel like the undertones of that lip liner perfectly match the undertones of this liquid lipstick. And this is actually the first liquid lipstick I've ever used from Ofra. They've always sent minis when I've ordered from Ofra in the past. And honestly, my wife just steals them because they're all pinky toned. And I don't like pinky toned nudes. That is just one of those colors that I, they make me look sick, so I don't wear them. So she steals them all. I, I believe that's also what came with this package and she was very quick to snatch it up. But I really like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the gloss. Now the gloss is in the shade Koa, and it's like a chocolate brown with some gold reflex in there. Oh my goodness, this gloss would have been so perfect for the look that I did on Tuesday. Oh my gosh, I love it. And the smell of it, it's, I always expect glosses to smell like vanilla and this one doesn't. This one smells like a caramel apple, I think. That's what it smells like. Oh my gosh, it smells like fall. So I'm going to finish this up very quickly because my camera battery is dying, okay? And I don't have a second one because I can't seem to find the batteries for my specific camera. So I am really, really happy with all the products in this collection. When I went to buy the palette, I was on the fence on buying the full collection because I was like, ah, I don't need lip products. I have so many lip products that I'm trying to just like go through. I was like, mm, do I really need it? I am so happy I bought the lip products, like the full collection. I love this lip color and I, I love this lip gloss. The fact that it smells like caramel apples just makes me really, really happy. So these two products are a win and I am, I'm absolutely loving this eyeshadow palette. It, it makes me feel like I'm in the mood for fall. It gets me excited to do deep, smoky eyes. I can't wait to play with the palette more on its own and also combine it with other palettes I have. I love to add black to a lot of my looks and I can't wait to use that palette with a little bit of black and see what I can come up with. But I am very happy with my purchase and I'm sure a lot of people are giving this raving reviews because I don't see how you can't because it, it's the quality of the Ofra shadows were really nice. They were nice and silky. They blended really easily and the pigment, it like packed a punch. You put that brush on your eyelid and the moment you started to pat, that, that color was there. But anyway, before my battery dies, I wanna thank y'all for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And tomorrow I will be doing my fall makeup rotation. You should totally subscribe and stay tuned for that.
But until next time, bye y'all.